Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of stem cells. You've probably heard about them, these incredible cells with the potential to become almost any other cell in the body. But what exactly is stem cell therapy? Is it the miracle cure we've all been waiting for, or is it still mostly science fiction? Let's break it down. Simply put, stem cell therapy is all about using these versatile stem cells to treat or even prevent diseases and injuries. Think of them as the body's master repair kit. Now, this isn't some brand new futuristic concept. In fact, one form of stem cell therapy has been around for decades and proven incredibly effective, bone marrow transplants. For over 50 years, doctors have been using hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, that's a mouthful, I know. Primarily in the form of bone marrow transplants, to treat conditions like leukemia and lymphoma. These transplants replenish the patient's damaged blood-forming cells with healthy ones. It's the OG of stem cell therapy and a testament to its potential. But the exciting news is that research is exploding, exploring how stem cells can tackle a much wider range of problems. Imagine strengthening a heart weakened by a heart attack or even regenerating damaged brain cells in neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. Scientists are actively investigating these possibilities, along with potential treatments for diabetes and other debilitating conditions. One of the key areas of focus is cell-based therapies. The idea here is to guide stem cells to become specific cell types needed to repair damaged tissue. Think macular degeneration affecting eyesight, strokes causing neurological damage, or the painful wear and tear of osteoarthritis. Stem cells could potentially provide the healthy cells needed for repair and regeneration. And the future? Well, it looks incredibly promising. Imagine combining stem cell power with gene editing technologies like CRISPR-Cas9. This could open doors to treating hereditary disorders right at their root, fixing those genetic flaws in stem cells before they even have a chance to cause problems. This could have a profound impact on future generations. Stem cells are also being explored for their potential in treating autoimmune diseases like type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and multiple sclerosis. They have the ability to modulate the immune system and promote tissue regeneration, offering hope for those battling these complex conditions. Regenerative medicine as a whole could be revolutionized by stem cells. Imagine repairing damaged hearts, mending spinal cord injuries, or even replacing entire organs grown from a patient's own cells. This could drastically reduce the need for organ donors and offer personalized solutions like never before. Speaking of personalized solutions, let's talk about induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCS. These are basically adult cells that have been reprogrammed back into a stem cell-like state. This is a game-changer because we can derive these cells directly from a patient. This means the new cells are a perfect genetic match, significantly reducing the risk of the body rejecting them. Tailor-made treatments? It's becoming a real possibility. And for those facing organ shortages, the idea of bioengineered organs and body parts using stem cells is no longer confined to science fiction. While still in early stages, 
the potential to grow functional organs in the lab could be life-saving for countless individuals. Now, as with any groundbreaking technology, there are important ethical and moral considerations to discuss. The source of stem cells is a key point. Currently, we have adult stem cells, embryonic stem cells, derived from early-stage embryos, and stem cells from aborted fetuses. The use of embryonic stem cells, in particular, raises ethical questions for many, as it involves the destruction of embryos. Different people and different belief systems hold varying views on when life begins and the moral status of these early cells. It's a complex discussion with no easy answers. It's also important to remember that stem cell therapy, while promising, is not without potential risks. Because stem cells can divide and differentiate into various cell types, there's a theoretical risk that they could develop into cancer cells and form tumors. Also, lab-grown or reprogrammed stem cells might potentially have genetic abnormalities. Furthermore, if using embryonic stem cells, there's a chance the patient's body might recognize these foreign cells as a threat and launch an immune attack. And because this field is still relatively new in many areas, the long-term outcomes of some stem cell therapies are still unknown. So, where do we stand? Well, Hematopoietic stem cell transplantation for blood disorders is a well-established and life-saving therapy. For many other conditions, stem cell therapy holds incredible promise, and research is moving at an exciting pace. However, it's crucial to approach this field with a balanced perspective. While the potential is enormous, more research is needed to ensure safety and effectiveness for a wider range of applications. It's important to be wary of unproven stem cell treatments offered outside of regulated clinical trials. These can be risky and may not provide any benefit. Always consult with your doctor about the best and safest treatment options for your specific condition. What are your thoughts on stem cell therapy? Are you hopeful about its future potential? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our future explorations of the amazing world of science.